Hello everyone. I am Arun Kumar. I am a cyber security practitioner. Today I will speak on guidelines to choosing a best browser. While there are many options in the market, we often find ourselves in a confusing state to which browser would be the best for us. So now let us see how we can decide a suitable browser for our needs, for our requirements. In fact, browsers are the key to the internet these days. They are so ubiquitous. They are on every machine, every device, every app. The choice becomes ever more difficult. To name a few, there are many popular browsers. One is Google Chrome. There's Mozilla Firefox, there's Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, and then there's graphic intensive browser like the Epic. So before deciding on what browser you should choose, I would suggest you decide what is the age of a computer or what is the age of your mobile device. When did you buy it? When did you got your computer and installed uh, whether Windows, whether Mac or any other operating system like Linux? You should decide, you should find out what is the age of your computer. Is it outdated? Is it low on memory? Is it having a less processing speed? These things you must find out before finding out the best browser. The second thing which you should do is decide on what your browser should do. Whether it should play fast streaming videos, whether it should serve you a purpose to visit websites, check up emails, or should it just be a text based fast and efficient browser. Please think about it, write it down. What is that you are looking into a browser? So some serve a specific purpose and some browsers offer a very, very large range of devices and features. And that is where my friends, it becomes confusing. The third point I want to make across is that you should know what platform you are on. By platform I mean which kind of operating system you use as uh, few browsers are only available at a certain platform, at a certain operating system. In fact, when it comes to smartphones, you have two options. Either you can open the links given in an app. Suppose uh, you're, you're browsing Twitter and there is a link you can opt to open that link within Twitter or you can opt to open that particular link in your favorite browser. So within the app, the app uses the Android system web view browser. And when you choose to open that link with the browser you have installed in your smartphone, it goes externally. So you have to decide which operating system you are on, which kind of smartphone you are using. Also, please do some research about the browser. You know, there are tab browser which allow you to uh, open different tabs while web surfing. Safari, as an example, is a great browser on the Mac operating system. However, it has extended itself to Windows also, but it is relatively new. On the same place, Firefox is a general purpose browser, which allows you to have more plugins, ease your task. We also have a browser, which is Opera. Opera is a browser which supports torrent files. It can also handle email independently and is very mobile friendly. So do a 
fair research on what kind of browser you want whether a tab one whether a plugins intensive there are also browsers like conqueror which has uh, an inbuilt file manager there are browsers like sea monkey which gives you html editor and an email client inbuilt in fact there's a browser by the name of by one which is very tiny and low memory intensive and small in size i remember one of the browser by the name flock which was specifically made to be used on social networking sites which is very popular nowadays unfortunately the browser is now under no production going ahead also see whether the features that the browser is offering suits you compare these features with what you want and what other browsers are offering you can compare them there are several comparison websites you should also consider alternative lower memory browsers like the one i mentioned off by one is a very less memory intensive browser it uses very low consumption of memory the computer memory i mean the ram has a very little size and serves your purpose there are browsers similar to it by the name of uh, skipstone and netsurf you can also consider a text based browser where you don't want those fancy advertisements fancy flash players those javascript you can also consider a text based browser which serves your purpose you send in your text for a request and then the response comes in the way of the requested page they can serve faster than the fastest browser they can offer you maximum speed one of these browsers is uh, is popular by the names e link go ahead and search it while deciding on a browser you can also factor whether the browser you are selecting allows you to add features later on when your requirement increases does it allow adding plugins adding some tools so that you stick to the one and continue use it using it when your requirements increase i think firefox fits in here very well it has umpteen number of plugins which can solve your daily problems issues tasks at hand all in all circling on the browser is definitely different depending on the device depending on your memory requirements your personal requirements feature requirement do circle it see what you want research about it and then download your favorite browser thank you